When you're first starting a nonprofit, it can feel like a big challenge getting the help that you need. But many pro bono resources exist to help with anything from legal to marketing support and more. So in this video, I'm going to talk through seven places where you might find pro bono support for your new or growing nonprofit organization. Let's go. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Amber Melanie Smith and I'm a nonprofit founder and executive director who also makes these videos here on YouTube to help people like you who want to make a difference, whether that's through starting and growing a nonprofit, social enterprise, socially conscious business, or other ways. I hope that you find this video helpful and useful as always. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also, if you're in the process of starting a nonprofit or or developing a sustainable fundraising plan, check out my website, foundertofulltime.com, where I have some online trainings that might help you out. Getting pro bono services can be a really beneficial way to get professional level help at no cost for your nonprofit organization. And in a minute here, I'm gonna share those seven places where you'll be able to look for pro bono help that will hopefully be a good fit to help you meet one of your organization's needs. But before I get into that, I do wanna share a quick tip. This is something that has really helped me make the most out of pro bono projects and partnerships. So the idea of getting pro bono help can feel like a dream. Someone with professional level experience helping your organization as a volunteer, donating their time and their services. But one of the biggest factors that can cause a pro bono partnership or pro bono project to flop is a lack of clarity around the expectations of the outcomes for the project or the lack of clarity around the specific needs that your organization has for the pro bono project. So I highly recommend before you even get started with your search for pro bono help, you create a scope of work, basically a document that outlines your specific, your specific deliverables that you're hoping for, whether it's a complete business plan or um, an outline for a marketing campaign or answers to specific legal questions. Make sure you get really clear in your own mind and put it on paper so that you can communicate clearly to potential pro bono supporters exactly what you need and that will help them understand if they have the time available to help you in the way that's going to be most effective for you. Now, some pro bono projects are gonna be more straightforward than others, and some might be more nuanced, like those marketing or fundraising types of support projects. So here's a quick checklist to make sure that you're including everything that you need to in an outline or scope of work to make sure that your pro bono helper really understands what you need. First, what is your ultimate goal? What is the specific deliverable, and by that I mean the product that will result from the project? Is it a document that contains certain things? Is it a marketing plan? Is it a, a, a budget document? Like what is the actual tangible thing that will result from the project? Second, what is the purpose of this pro bono project? What will having the help from a pro bono professional allow you to do for your organization and by extension, your organization's mission to impact the community? Third, what is your timeline for this project? Is there a specific deadline or time frame that you need the project completed by? And finally, if it's a consulting-based type of pro bono project, what are those specific questions that you need answered? Or if it's a other type of project, what are those specific skill sets the professional needs to have in order to be an effective pro bono helper for your organization? Okay, now that we have that foundation out of the way and hopefully you're feeling prepared to provide clear instructions to a pro bono helper once you find them, let's get into those seven places where you might be able to find the perfect pro bono professional volunteer to help you out with what you need. The first place you can search for a pro bono helper is through online pro bono or volunteer platforms. These are websites where causes such as yours who need help with a specific project, whether it's a pro bono project or other type of volunteer need, can look for people to help them out, whether by posting their volunteer needs or being matched by the website's um, 
the organization behind the website to a professional that will help you. So a couple of examples of this include the Taproot Foundation or Catch a Fire. These two uh, organizations and websites, they focus on connecting organizations with specific pro bono help on professional projects like marketing and legal, et cetera. Um, another resource that is in a lot of local communities around the world is Points of Light. This is uh, a network of organizations that focus on recruiting volunteers to support other nonprofits. And you can go to the Points of Light website and click on the global network map and see the map of where all of these organizations are located to see which ones might be closest to you in your city. The second place you can look for pro bono help is local universities and colleges. Um, there are a lot of students, undergrad, graduate, and professors who are often willing to lend support to nonprofits in their community. Sometimes this can even be done for academic credit. So there are two ways you can start looking for help at a university or college. The first is through student clubs. You can usually find a list of student organizations on a college's website to see if there are any that are focused on volunteering for nonprofits or there are even some that are focused on providing professional or academic level support for specific projects for nonprofits. I know in my local community there's college clubs where students focus on providing marketing and accounting advice to nonprofits. So that's pretty cool. They set up the club exclusively to help nonprofits with these types of projects and maybe they can help you too. The second way is through professors. You can find a class that teaches the topic that might relate to the specific need you have. For example, a marketing class. And sometimes the professor will be able to work with you to identify an awesome student who's looking for real world experience, developing something related to the class topic, or sometimes they can even make it a class project. So you get the benefit of all of the students working collaboratively together. Now, definitely don't discount students because they often have lots of job experience um, under their belts, even while they're attending school, or sometimes you have non-traditional students who went to work and then went back to school. So you can really expect a broad range of skill levels and understanding of a topic from students at your local college. The third place that you could possibly look for pro bono help is through your local professional associations. So there are often networking and training and learning groups in each city that focus on specific professional areas. Um, you'll see clubs for marketing professionals like the uh, American Marketing Association, I think is the, the, the group AMA, look for one of those in your city. There's also a group called SHRM, that's S-H-R-M, that's the Society of Human Resource Managers, I believe. And so if you're looking for someone with a focus in human resources to help answer some questions for you or help you with the human resources related pro bono project, that in my opinion would be a great place to reach out to see who's available or maybe um, you know the, the club's uh, leadership can recommend someone great for you. The fourth place you can look for pro bono help is legal aid organizations. I'm going to call out two types specifically. The first is your community's local bar association. Oftentimes the bar association will have a foundation arm that's meant to do charitable activities. And sometimes that could mean helping identify lawyers to help with specific legal matters on a pro bono basis, or maybe the uh, foundation itself can offer help too. Pro tip, sometimes those foundations even offer, offer grant applications. So a um, little random funding opportunity for you. And another legal resource is probonopartner.org. They are a website that specifically offers legal help to nonprofits and oftentimes nonprofits in a startup phase. So if you are at the part of your organization's development where you need to still file your paperwork and develop all that stuff, they might be able to find someone to help you out. The fifth place you might be able to find pro bono help is through corporate volunteer or pro bono programs, also called skills-based volunteering. Um, these are all the rage. L companies just love to find ways to have their employees volunteer that let them 
use their professional skill sets or develop their professional skill sets. So these skills-based or pro bono volunteer programs at companies have really taken off in the last, I'd say, decade-ish. Um, so you can definitely check those out. You can look for companies that have professionals that offer the skill set you need, like again, a marketing company or a law firm, etc. cetera. Um, and see if they have a social responsibility program where they already have it structured to offer skills-based support. If not, in my opinion, there's no harm just asking someone if, if their company would be willing to help with something like that. You never know, they could say yes. Another program that's sort of embedded in corporate volunteering and corporate pro bono pro programs is called Common Impact. The Common Impact is a nonprofit that specifically works with companies in order to help their employees do skills based and pro bono volunteering. Um, so sometimes you can link up with them to get specific help on a project that you have a need for. Just a quick disclaimer about Common Impact and some organizations like them. Depending on the size or scale of the project, there sometimes could be a fee or a small fee that the nonprofits have to pay in order to get the project um, matched and get some support for the managing the project along the way. Um, and this fee is usually, you know, a good ROI, you know, because you would have had to probably pay a professional um, a lot more than the cost of that fee. But it is important to know that sometimes that's a thing that comes with these programs. The sixth place you might find pro bono help is other nonprofits whose mission is to support other nonprofits. Now this is kind of like the common impact example I just gave, but I'm going to get a little bit more into um, the details here because these are nonprofits that are not specifically connected to corporate volunteer programs. So um, two examples come to mind. The first is called 48 and 48. Uh, you can look them up. Their specific mission is to help nonprofits build websites at no cost to them. So they rally all these volunteers and the volunteers help build a website and then the nonprofit gets a free website. So that's something you might be able to check out if a website is your specific need. Another place you might be able to look for help is um, through centers for nonprofits. Um, I will leave the link to find your, the center for nonprofits that's in your community. There's these centers for nonprofits are located all around the country in the USA. Um, and these are membership organizations that offer various types of support to nonprofits to include some pro bono services. Um, so that's something to check out. And as a disclaimer, sometimes a membership fee might be needed, but it's usually pretty reasonable. Um, the ones I've seen are always less than a couple hundred bucks. And the seventh and final place I'm going to talk about today to get pro bono help is your own network. You can tap into all of the people around you. You never know what amazing skill sets people have until you ask. So once again, I re recommend making sure you have that very clear outline and scope of work of what you're looking for. And then ask around, put your needs on LinkedIn, put it out in Facebook groups relevant to the needs uh, topics. You never know who's gonna be able to help out. Um, just make sure that they can look through that outline of what you're looking for and have a conversation with you about what your needs are so that you can make sure it's a good fit. So has your nonprofit or a nonprofit that you've worked with before had experience getting pro bono help? I would love to hear about your experience, what went well, what would you do differently this time, what made it really effective, etc. Share in the comments below. Once again, if you are in the process of starting a nonprofit or developing your fundraising plan, check out my website, foundertofulltime.com for those online trainings. I also have a newsletter where I send out information, tips, and sometimes funding opportunities that you can join. Look at the link below this video as well for that. And finally, I have a group on Facebook called Change the World or Bust, where we've got I wanna say we're coming up on 5,000 folks from around the world, it's amazing, who are all making a difference in their own way and are talking to each other to encourage each other and get advice along the way. So come join us there and I hope to see you. Once again, this is Amber Melanie Smith signing off.